Okay. So, can you please show me how much of this piece, go to rest position, how much of this piece have you worked on? We're thinking. This week since your lesson, how much do you think you know? From memory? Um, what did you memory. work on this week? I, I worked on from here probably to here. Okay, so, um, great. So, we're not going to practice for a really long time. We're going to be leaving in a little while. So, what do you think would be a good use of your time right now, since we have a little time to practice? I we spent a lot of time talking, and that took a lot of time away. I think I should practice this part because he wants me to have it done by today. Which part? Starting on which measure? Oh, on this this is measure 8, so 9, 10, 11? 11 after the 8. Okay, so um, what's hard about that section? Well, uh, Why do you think? Just because he said that or is it hard well, for it's you? it's really hard. I, I don't want you to tell, show me on the violin. It's really I, You know, I don't need to see everything. You can just tell me. Um, well, it's, Let's just tell me. I'll it's hold in that. a really, really high position on the G string, and you really have to like bring your arm down. Okay. All right. So what's the first note in that phrase? A. Okay. So why don't you play me an open A first? And now play me at the high A that you have to shift to. Okay. So why don't you play me um, a little bit in first position and then play it for me up there. Okay, let's hear that up high. Okay, how did you like that? Did you think it was great? Okay, or terrible? It's okay. All right. What was okay about it, from my point of view, is that it was in tune. That was very nice. Because once something's in tune, guess what you get to do after that? Um, like you get to put the icing on the cake, right? Yeah. Good for you. Okay. So, how does the icing get put on here? You're in tune. What? Where's the sound going to come from then? Yeah. What do you have to work on? That's right. But also, you can... Do like vibrato or something or dynamics. Well, right, but that's still going to mostly depend on how you bow. So, what's the trick for bowing on a thick, short string? Um, to have your bow be flat. Okay, so put your violin up, and I'm going to put my finger up here and see if you can make it sound beautiful. Make it loud and soft. So one thing you could do is make sure that you're on the G string, right? And you can make sure that you have a, a, a lot of uh, flat string, right? Okay, I don't know what note I was playing, so why don't you play your open A again and make sure that you're in tune. 
So see if you can make that note sound beautiful. So what I notice is that you're um, you're kind of floating on the string. You're going, uh, you're using some pressure and then you're lifting. What about trying to use the same amount of pressure and keep the bow at a at a certain speed the whole time? See again, you were touching this string, right? See if you can really focus on being on that string and keeping the same pressure and the same speed. Okay, let me try. Let's have a contest. Okay, see if you can do better than that. I bet you you can. Did you put rosin on this bow? No. Oh, well, I noticed that. I thought we talked about that before. I'm sorry. Well, why don't you go do that? I think that when you're playing a really, really hard note, that you should try to give yourself as much help as you can. Right. And that includes rosin and getting your elevator arm up in the right place. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, why don't you just play me Mississippi Hot Dog? I really like the sound you're making, so why can't you make that kind of ya da da da? might be pressing too hard on the string, right? So what you have to decide right now is you have to have a talk with your right hand, your bow hand, and you have to say, you're the one who has to make the music. Ya -da -da -da. And make your bow harm make the music. Let's go. Try it. Move that bow. Keep it moving. Good, do that again. Ya da da, keep it moving no matter what. One more time. Circle around and ya da da. Circle around. Okay, try again. Now, I'm going to tell you, because I get the privilege of being right here, the reason it's almost not right is because you are too close to the D string. You're too close. You don't realize it, but your bow is almost touching the D string almost every time you play it. You have to get on this side of the string, not this side. The string has two sides. Get on the, on that. That's right. You are playing on this side of the string and not this side. Okay, get over on this side of the string and get your butt, get your butt away from the D string. Thank you. Try to circle around again. Now circle around again and make it smooth. It's all one note. Ya da da ya. Okay, good. Now take a rest <coughs> and let's hear you start here.
let's hear you start again. Can I hear the dum ba da 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 da? Good, that was better. Okay, so one of the things that's really hard is that these little baby exercises about elevator arm and what string are you on, those become very important when you're advanced like this. A lot of the extra noise that you're hearing is because your bowing is not being careful. It's not on the right string. It's touching other strings. How can you pay more attention to that? Well, you can look at the string. Try looking at it. Look at the string and see. Good. You see, the thing is you worked so hard with this hand to get everything right, and then this hand is letting you down. It really is. It has to do its job too. And its job seems really easy of staying on the right string and staying straight, straight and staying, you know, steady, uh, you know, tempo. But actually, you know, it's got a lot of things to do. And you have to watch it and let this, now you've worked with this hand, let it go a little bit and keep, keep an eye on this one and make sure it's doing its job and it hasn't gone out to lunch. Okay, fine, it's fine. Good. You're not supposed to do this note. Well, then don't do that I'm, note. I'm trying not to. Well, try hard, go slower then. And make sure you talk to that. What finger is doing that note? Well, let me see. Don't do it. Okay, now you can try. Well, watch your bow. Did it do a good job? Can I see? Very nice. Okay, what else? Okay, you know what? I'm going to ask you to just play from here to there, and I'm just going to, wait a minute, I'm just going to pretend to be Eugene, and, and you can just be done with it, however it is. Just a minute. I have to get my nose where Eugene does. Let me get your thing. Okay. Go ahead. Good. So, stop. That was excellent. So what I want you to do is I want you to sneak peek at your bow. Okay? And it's hard if you still need the music, but I still want you to do it. Okay? It sounded really good. So from here to here, sneak peek somewhere in the middle here. I don't care where. Just do it somewhere. Sneak.
sneak, sneak, sneak. See, you were on top of the bridge there. You have to look, you have to sneak some peeks in there, right? Okay, good job. All right, put this away and now take a rest and pick one more chopstick or, you know, um, whatever you want to do. Probably put this in my jean bag. Well, okay. You already did your scale, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it folds really well. Right, because you because you taped it right that time. It doesn't fold well if you don't tape it right. Right. Should I bring? Yeah, I'll bring this one just in case he wants to work on the third page. Wait. No, just bring page one and two. Oh yeah, also. You have it scanned, so if he wants it, he can print it out. Oh, right. Right? All right. <laughs> bring page one and two is enough. I'm gonna pause today.